What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the next episode of Ori and the Blind Forest. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to be your guide here today. Although a bit of a blind leading the blind situation right now because this is a blind playthrough. So obviously I may not be the most astute of guides but I'm going to do my best to make everything entertaining along the way. Just to make it up to all of you because I care like that. Let's go ahead and go out to our ability tree. What did this one do right here? It shortens the cooldown meter for using soul links. Okay. Map markers makes pickups show up on the map. That might be a good idea. Increases the strength of the spirit flame, so we can increase our DPS. We can increase our chance of getting loot, which since I tend to overlook things, I may do that. What do all these lead to? You can breathe in clean water. But sewage sludge? Nope, can't breathe in that. Bad for the old lungas. We've got... I'm gonna go... Let's go for the map markers for right now, because if we can find extra stuff, I think that'll help us level up a little bit faster. Maybe make our... Ow, how did I miss that right there? Damn. Okay, so you need to go away. Oh, I can't destroy you. Never mind. My first inclination is to... What's that? Look like a bigger version of myself. Like a bigger, less adorable, but more like socially competent version of my tiny adorable self. <laughs> Let us bask in Phil's light. I always like Phil. He was a good guy. Great at carrying lanterns, too. Ah. You've learned a wall jump. So that's pretty standard for platformers, but it should increase our ability to get around and also... Maybe open up. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like how he's got a little kick turn when he goes off, too. I used to be a swimmer. And so I like flourish as, like, when you spin and go into the wall and you're like, whoosh, and you come back out, like, with a twist. Oh, you can actually hop up the same direction. Ow! I did it again. I did it again. But then again, there's health right here, so not going to concern my... Oh, God! Let me... Can I destroy those? Nope, got to hop on over them. Okay, so let's hop along. We'll get our cowboy on here. Ah! Barely dodged that one. Almost took a little bit of the old ye old perforation, which I prefer to stay away from, although I guess in this case it would be perforations. I don't know. Does he purr? If he purrs, then yes, I think that works. If he doesn't purr, then it would just be a furation. Let's go over to here. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, speaking of fur, speaking of furries and fur, anyways, the last time I played a game, I said the last game was Child of Light, but the one before that was probably Dust. That's like the last one that I can think of that had a really, really well-developed storyline, plot, and additionally had amazing animation. The kind of which you just couldn't really look away from a lot of the time. Like, your eyes sort of drink in a game like this, which sounds like a weirdly artsy-fartsy way to say it, but like, they do. Your eyes really do. They don't want to look away. Like, it's a good-looking game. Like, sometimes games have shoddy textures, or they just have like random annoying little things as part of their overall production. But this one, liking it so far... Everything, I like how we illuminate things, how, you see how there's a little glow on the rock from our little light orb? Man, very, very cool. One of these little guys right here, I probably should have, like, saved first before I recharged my energy. That may be why they gave it to us. So can we use that to block? It doesn't look like it physically, we gotta push this, maybe. So let's push it. Push it real good. <laughs> That's right, I had a salt and pepper album. Don't hate. Don't hate. Just get on board with the super awesome hip hop of the 80s. I guess early 90s, salt and pepper. Probably not. Well, they were maybe around in the late 80s. Were they? Or were they early 90s? Probably early 90s. I think that from right here I can make the jump, so let's do it. There's our first fragment. Fantastic. We've scored ourselves a frag all the way through here. Not necessarily the most shootery environment to get frags from, but I'll take it. We can grab this. Ah, there we go. The controls are very, very responsive, by the way. If you're worried about the way that the game feels or moves around, it's working great with an Xbox controller. Your ability to tailor your speed using the thumbstick, the way that you jump, everything feels nice. It feels good. Some games, slight things are off. Slight things are off sometimes with games, and so... I figure I'd bring it up. What is that? A mapstone fragment. Return this to a mapstone to unlock a new area map. Okay. 
Those obviously I don't think can be destroyed. Can I stand on the edge of that? There we go. Don't push me because I'm close to the edge. I could fill in the rest, but I guess I'll, I'll let the reference go for right now. So the map fragment. We've got one fragment right there. Maybe we can utilize the wall jump to get the next one so that we can get through that gate that was back up here. The game is free roam, so it's going to direct you around a little bit. From what I've read... What is this? Oh, so it looks like we're a little bit ahead of the curve. Oh, wow. Okay, so we've got like a considerable amount of distance to cover, and... So it looks like upwards. So when we get up that little chasm over there, we're going to want to go upwards. It looks like we've missed out on a couple of treasures. That one right there... I don't know what to think about that. Maybe it's just a repository for little light orbs or something? But now that we know where we're headed to... Oh, there's another fragment over here, too. So that'll give us maybe the two that we need in order to get past that gate. Let me consult the map stone again. Can we see the map from anywhere in here? Ah, we can see the map anywhere using the select key. Fantastic. Good, 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 good. I like it when a plan starts to come together. We got resources. I'm going to save that for a second in case I take more damage up here. Just in the off chance. And then maybe I should throw out a save real quick. Because I tend to be the kind of person that doesn't save for like a really, really long time. And then I die. And I regret it tremendously. And it makes me upset. So let's go and see if we can make that jump. We did indeed make the jump. Grab a little bit more XP from right there. Although the orbs are definitely counting for a little less. This is going to take two, huh? Let's get it going. <laughs> awesome. So much fun right now. I'm just having a blast. This game is just utterly blowing my mind right now. Like, it hasn't tried anything new. Let's see if we can make this work. Platforming skills are a go. I did play a lot of platformers when I was a kid, so I might be able to make this work. There's a fragment right there that we can save for later. See if we can get up and over these random... These are really, really hostile plants. Quite a bit more active than I expect my predatory plants to be. I think the tempo is different on this one. That's what's throwing me off. I was expecting the tempo from the previous one, but it was different. Ah! No! Alright, so there we go. Back up the wall, and it looks like we've made our way to safety. If we haven't at least made our way to safety, we've started the craft, so... What can I do with this right here? So there's obviously a light orb right there. How is that accessible? Is this wall actually open right here? Some games, like back in the Sega Genesis Super Nintendo days, they would always do that stuff. Maybe I can get up from right here. In contrast with the popular song, we had to get down to get up when we came over here, so... A little bit different from what we're used to. Yeah, maybe we need a tool to get up in there. Maybe later on we get some kind of, like, light vacuum or something so that we can do some cleaning around the way, but... For right now, it doesn't appear to be accessible, so let's just continue moving forward. Got some spikes over here that are not going to be destructible. How much time do we have to work this? Enough, I think, if I go up and over. There it is. Got that covered. Oh, no. Okay, I didn't expect that. Let's move our way up the incline. Oh, the incline's actually not going to allow us to do that. Okay. I'm alright with it, because that works out just fine right there, the way that it goes. Slide this down. Ooh, the slide is quicker than I expected. Okay. It does pick up velocity, though, so if you jump and on the downward, you claw the wall. He slows down, I guess, slowly as he goes down the wall, but not completely, I guess. But you definitely, if you're trying to get to a location like that, maybe not start off with a jump to make that more difficult than it needs to be. A bunch of fragments right now for later use. Hopefully we find a big door. Someone's got some treasure behind it, something useful. Oh, okay, so they're a little bit stilted right there. We're going to want to get started right here. I'm going to jump over to this side. There we go, all the way up. Ah, there they are. So another gate down. Making good progress right now, making good progress. I enjoy platformers a lot, and it's weird that I don't play them very often because I find them to be pleasurable, although I need something other than just... Jabba keeps interrupting my commentary. Thank 
It's just gotta be spiders, doesn't it? It's just gotta be spiders. Every time. It's always spiders. Every single time. Let's access the tree right now. We don't have any light to spend, but I think saving's probably a decent idea. Saving is always a good idea. If there's one life skill I could impart on the younger viewers, learn to save. Learn to save your game, learn to save your money, learn to save your breath. It's just... it make your life easier. I'm telling you. Make your life a lot easier. Let's go down and see. I had, a, I had a big problem with all of those. So, you know. We could explore further. It said that we've only explored like 5% of this place, and it looks like we do have a considerable amount of ground to cover. What do you all think? Do you want to make this an exploration game where we hit it all and we try and find everything, or how do we want to do this? Oh no! I saw that, and then I did it anyways because I don't like having high health. Alright, well, we'll make it work for right now. Should be able to drop through right here. I'm quick when I backtrack. It's just because I, like, I memorize levels, and so I just... I'm usually fairly fast when I backtrack. Just be aware that I may not like commentary quite as well when I'm streaming through some of this stuff. A little bit of health back right there. Where do we want to go? We can go upwards right here. I don't know if we have the... Ab it looks like there may be some ability that allows us to go higher and higher up into the air. Higher and higher! You know what I mean. Like that. Right there. But for right now, it doesn't look like we have that ability. So we may want to start out just by killing off some of these guys in Hollow Grove. So there's Sunken Glades, which it's saying we haven't hit any of this either. Let's get all up on this guy, although I'm pretty sure we've been over here. I don't remember what the issue was over here. Oh yeah, we couldn't jump high enough. So maybe we get like a super jump later on that'll allow us to progress a little bit further on these maps. That would be one of the few things... Okay, so there's a barrier right there. That's what that stands for. It looks like we missed some kind of gap over here, and I'll make a cut in a second. If we have to wander all the way back up to where the spirit tree is, I'll make a cut so that you don't get cheated out of just, like, walking time, because I know people don't like that. And frankly, it doesn't take that much effort for me to just... Oh, no! That's all bad! Okay, so apparently water is bad for me. Like most animals, Ori does not enjoy a quick submersion. Although, given the way that he used those fragments on that door, I'd figure that he does favor a quick insertion, so there's that. I don't know. And the way he climbs up those walls, he favors that vertical exertion. Eh, we can keep it going. There's all kinds of things. I think we already got the thing that was over here. Yeah. 
It was just like a big old thingamadoober. Ah, well, let's go back over here and just make sure that we've canvassed everything because that's just the sort of player that I am. I never move forward until I get, like, everything in games like this. That's why it always took me so long to beat Castlevania Symphony of the Night is because I had to have all the little doodads and stuff. I just couldn't live if I didn't have them all. Okay, I could keep living. Obviously, I slept and I stepped away from the TV. I didn't stop living like some kind of weird blood-sucking vampire if I stopped playing the game, but you know what I mean. Can I even make that jump over there? That one might not even be feasible given our current strength. It's worth a shot, though. We could give it a go. We can also get back into the place that we came from, which is a little bit better than what we did before. We can drop down into some caverns right there. Not going to help out much. Do we have any fragments? How many fragments do we have? World events have not taken place. I think we used all four of our fragments, so we may not be able to go any further here. But I'll check it nonetheless, because I enjoy being thorough. Okay, so yeah, we can't go back that way until we get Bramble Powers. I'll cut the video back in once we reach the Soul Tree. Alright, back to the Soul Tree we go. It wasn't quite so bad. What's up here? I think they're trying to... It looks like a snake mountain right there, doesn't it? It looks like there's the snake's head and the flowers are its eyes. Because the snakes have multiple eyes like weird demonic things that they are. And then they got that slithery-ass disgusting tongue. Not a fan of snakes. I've almost been nicked by far too many rattlesnakes to ever like snakes. Just not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Can I restore my health over here? I'd like to restore my health. I would love that. That sounds great. Things went wrong off camera. There we go. Things didn't go like super wrong, but they went wrong enough to where we came back with less health. So, let's continue exploring the blind forest. For right now, it seems as though our explorational, I guess, endeavors have been blocked. It seems as though... So what if I... Yeah, what about you? I was going to say, if I can get you to trigger that for me, what's down there? Nothing much. Got a health node. Maybe a little bit of XP right there. That'll work out. What's down here? Alright, we might be able to make it to this switch over here. I don't really need that right now, but they regrow anyways, so why worry about it? And then with this... Okay, so it appears as though we've got levers moving things around for right now. I'm going to jump down here and sort of just like figure out what it is we're looking for. I would assume that there's no fall damage. What does this do? I guess we can't open it for right now. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. It's not marked on the map either, unfortunately. So remind me, if I forget, if we get some ability that handles those, try to remind me of where you've seen them throughout the videos. It's not like vital, but it might be. Oh yeah, we need to go back this way. Sorry, I got obsessed with like standing on small platforms just to prove that I could do it. Do you do that in platforming games? Sometimes I do that in platforming games where I'll be like, I can make that jump. It doesn't matter. Wait, we can go down that way? Oh, let's go down this way first. Ah! No butt stomper, no! I realize that you are a Mario enthusiast, but I no longer wish my headspace to share your colon. What does Anno give us? Charge flame. Okay, so I thought there was something missing. So we can go... How high does it charge? That's pretty good. That means that we can make a pretty spiffy entrance when we land in front of a bunch of... Ah, we can destroy those walls now. So that's going to allow us a whole bunch of... And what is this? Let me guess. This can be destroyed as well. Let's try it out. Hey, I told you you're not going to charge. Why are you not charging right now? Oh, it requires energy. Okay, so it requires energy, but there is an energy crystal up top. What's down here? BT dubs, while we're on the subject, what's down in this little crag? Ah, a level up light, a large spirit light container. So there it is. It did recharge. Oh, it didn't destroy that right there, unfortunately. I was hoping that it would. It charges up pretty quickly, so that makes sense that it would actually have a detriment. Oh, no. Please don't. Now where are we? Oh, we're back along that normal... Okay, so I know exactly where we are. And then other things that we can interact with. We left that up top, but we couldn't get up there in the first place. That wall right there maybe is the one that we need to bust up. That m might be what it's trying to lead us to organically. I don't know. Whew, barely ran that one. 
I keep thinking that maybe I can grab that ledge, but it's just out of reach. So every time I come by here, I'm like, well, I should go investigate that and stand on these enormous mushrooms. This looks totally safe. And then ultimately, I just end up killing a whole bunch of forest creatures that I otherwise probably could have showed my mercy to. It is what it is. I wish I could go up walls like that. Damn. You ever seen that video of that guy that does that? He goes up the side of a wall like instantaneously. It's like in France or something like that. I remember where he did it, but it was it was badass, and I would watch him do it again. <laughs> Insert joke here. We'll grab a crystal. There it is. Okay, got our explosives all nice and refilled. There was no gate up there, right? Good. If there's no gate up there, I think we'll keep our progression aligned in another direction. Is there anything to be observed on the opposite end of this grove? Yeah, that's what I thought. The platforms don't necessarily show up. What was that? Oh, they turn into like... Ew. They turn into little fragments. That's pretty brutal. Okay. And so that appears to be how we bypass right here. Now the question becomes, do we go back to the left and check out that gate? Let's check out the gate. That's just the kind of player that I am. I have to know. Let's ride. Well, let's run. We're not riding. I like how he runs. He runs adorably. Nobody said it was a he. Is it a he? He said, I think they referred to it as my child the whole time, so it could be a male or a female. doesn't really matter. It just make it easier for my pronouns. Let's go with... Let's go with a little bit of extra DPS, because I don't feel like I kill things fast enough right now, and I want to kill things faster. There we go. So this is a Valley of the Wind. Could be worse. Could be a Valley of the Broken Wind. Oh, no. This place appears to be outclassing me right now. I'm going to try and stay. Those birds have a lot of HP. A concerning amount of HP. Can I blow this up right here? There's a hole in the log right there, and I want that spirit contain. Oh, there's another one. That's unfortunate. Kind of just like backtrack a little bit to kill those, though. They're not incredibly potent. They're just threatening looking. I don't know if it's worth it to, like, explore forward right now. Like, if that's a thing you're supposed to do in-game, or if you should just, like, stick to the storyline. That's something we'll have to, like, figure out as we go along. Ah, you can dart underneath him. Okay, that's cool. I don't like it when people dart underneath me. Play darts in a pub. Play darts, like, in your game room. But don't dart underneath me. I, I just... Pointy objects. Pointy objects in my lower extremities do not mix. A little bit of a jumping puzzle right here. But I think we can make it work. Oh, I need you to believe right now. Everybody cross your fingers. Everybody cross your fingers. I believe! There it is. We made that one. Oh, although that slimy thing tried to take us out on the other end. Oh no, we're out of health! I didn't realize how low on health we were. Well, damn. We just got worked. This might be a good place for us to stop the episode, huh? My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Ori and the Blind Forest. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. I'm having a blast with this game. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I will see you all later. Take care of everybody and hi-do!